Sentencing is set to start this morning for the teen who admitted to shooting and killing a canine police dog as well as kidnapping two women at gunpoint two years ago. Jamal Pascal pleaded guilty to a list of charges including killing a police dog, armed carjacking and two counts of kidnapping. News of Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live in Brittany earlier this month. The judge listened to testimony and delayed sentencing. Bruce, more than two years after he shot and killed K-9 Fang, a judge is expected to sentence Jamal Pascal. He pleaded guilty to those charges and he could face up to 35 years in prison. It all started in the early hours of September 30th, 2018 at a 7-Eleven on Lem Turner Road. That's where police say Jamal Pascal kidnapped two women at gunpoint, leading to a high-speed chase that hit speeds of 120 miles per hour. Through OnStar, authorities were able to track him down and shut down the car about 18 miles away. Police say Pascal jumped out of the car and ran off. That's when an officer released K-9 Fang. Pascal shot and killed Fang. Another police dog later captured Pascal. During Pascal's hearing earlier this month, he asked for forgiveness. All I ask today, Your Honor, is for a second shot at life. And I hope that everyone can find it in their hearts to forgive me. Fang's handler, Officer Matt Herrera, explained how that night changed his life forever. He, too, spoke at the hearing, having to relive that emotional night. I hear two gunshots back to back, a yelp from my dog, and then a third gunshot quickly after that. And I tried to call him to me. Um, which he would come every single time, but this time he didn't budge uh, because he was dead. JSO is remembering K-9's Fang service, helping keep people safe at special events and football games, as well as capturing some of the most dangerous criminals in Jacksonville. Fang's death led Florida lawmakers to change the law protecting police, fire, and search and rescue dogs. Before this incident, that was a third-degree felony. It's now a second-degree felony. The state wants Pascal sentenced to 35 years in prison, but the defense believes Pascal should only get 15 years. Now, that sentencing starts at 9 a.m. here at the Duval County Courthouse. I will be monitoring it, and you can expect updates on air and online, newsforjax.com. Reporting live from downtown Jacksonville this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.